Hello and welcome to the second part of this dictionary preset or advanced text animation tutorial in which we're going to look at creating our exclusion group. At the moment we've got our inclusion group where we can select particular words and we can scale them and change colour. However what we want to do is have the background fade and just these particular words come forward. And to do that we're going to have to create an exclusion group. And we can't do that on the inclusion group, we need to create a brand new group. So Deselect it, deselect the layer and select the layer at the top and then we're going to play with opacity. So we go back to the animate button and go to opacity. When you click on opacity you've got a range selector. If you just select your range selector, open up your range selector if you can't see it, click start and here is my range selector. Now at the moment it's selecting every single thing but what I want to do is just select this group here. So I'm going to take the end part click in it and drag it and make sure it's just before the word using. And then when I turn opacity down you'll see that I'm selecting and changing just that particular area. So I've got one part of my group selected. I'm going to shut that range selector down and then choose this animator one and rename it as my exclusion group. Enter and then select add and what I actually want to add is selector range. I want to add another range selector and when I do you can see the beginning and end now showing and I want to take the beginning to after the first word I've selected which is using and then before the next word so basically to the end of surprised. So now both that group and this group are included so when I turn opacity down both of those are going to disappear. So if I now then go back to the exclusion group add selector range and again I want to go after the word and so I take this one to just before amazed and then quite clearly the next one is going to go just before customizing and again I've selected all of those so what I'll do is I'll just pause the video here and do the rest of the group and then we'll come back and have a quick discussion so that's done it didn't take long to just go to add selector and choose range and then just drag those start and stop points between my ranges and now when I play with opacity you'll see that I can actually fade out absolutely everything except the words that we want to keep which are in the inclusion group. Now it's worth saying at this point if I was to turn off include group you'd actually get what looks like exactly the same thing but I can't then add a color because if I'm in my exclusion group and I go add and I say oh right I want to go to the fill color and change the RGB so I've added the RGB in here, um, you're not going to see it because everything is transparent. So you can't add changing fill colour and there's no point adding scale because this is the bit that we want to exclude or fade out. So there's no point adding fill colour, I'm going to delete that. But one thing we can do, which will have a really nice effect, I'm just going to turn this right up, is in our exclusion group, which are going to fade away in the background, what we might also want to do is go to add property blur. Now we can choose it to slightly fade to start off with and then we can add a great big blur to it and that really pulls the words out that we want to play with. So we've created an inclusion group which allows us to change the colour, even change the scale, start to move these items around a bit. So if we open up our inclusion group you can see at the moment we've got, got colour and scale so I can just begin to play with scale a bit so they can come off the screen if we want or we can pull them back in so you could decide that you want words to show in different way or different size and by having the inclusion group by using the dictionary preset and choosing the words we want to include we can really play around with them as a group which is brilliant but it doesn't allow us to move them individually I'm going to take this back to 100% for now to move them around individually we need to actually go and create a whole series of different groups and so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you the final setup so that we can select all the individual words, move them around and do the final animation and set the whole thing up so it's easy to organise. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you're finding these tutorials useful and thank you for watching.